Okay, so uh, this is uh, this is my dad's airplane, but he's selling it soon. And you can see that eagle right there. And we're going to Hilton Head today. We might go to the beach. It's a little chilly here. That's why I'm wearing my jacket right here. But uh, we're thinking it might be warm over there and cold over here. But we're about to take off once my dad, he's doing his stuff right there. Do you see him? Yeah, let me get a better look. Yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> dad, my dad's funny. And here's the antenna down here. Here's the antenna down here, and you can. Right, wrapping up. We gotta go. Wait, and you can see the N2711W whiskey. And bye, guys. See you on the next video. All right, Ollie, what are we doing today, bud? Uh, we're flying an airplane, and uh, we're going to another airport, and. Maybe we might go to the beach and swim. Yeah, a little chilly today. We thought yeah. it was gonna be warmer. Yeah, but it might be warm there too. So, so we're going to we're gonna find find out. It might be cool here, but it might be warm over there. That's right, buddy. So and we're going to Hilton Head Island today. We're going to Hilton Head Island. My cousin is down there for work. I uh, haven't seen him in a while. So Ollie and I figured perfect opportunity to fly to Hilton Head. It's really only like a 25 minute flight, but yeah. we'll take the long route and we'll uh, have a good day. So, ready bud? Yeah! Let's get this plane loaded up and get in the air. Just touch it a little bit. Yeah, good check. I forgot to check that, yep. You know what that is? What? That's the marker beacon antenna. Ooh! Yeah. All right, so you checked that aileron, right? Yeah. Do it one more time, let's see. Nice and smooth. Yolks move nice and smooth. Good? Go ahead. You remember, easy on those ones. And you always want to grab near, see these rivets? Mm -hmm. Always grab them near that, because that's where it's reinforced. So you always want to grab it there and move it. Guys, go look in there, <laughs> and then you'll see it. Little YouTuber. All right. All right, Ollie, go ahead, bud. Yep, nice and smooth. Now let's go. Now you look in there again, because I'm doing the other uh, wing. All right, go ahead, bud. Nice, yep, they're moving nice and smooth. All right. Pre-flight's done. We're gonna get all this stuff loaded up, um, and then we're gonna go to the bathroom. We're gonna head out. Look at me. All right, buddy. Remember, if you, if you can't hear yourself talking, I can't hear you, okay? I'm gonna finish my checklist stuff, okay? All right, lights are all good. We'll bring our strobe on when we get out there. Avionics, we'll get our weather real quick. Wind variable at five knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition clear below one two thousand. Temperature one four Celsius. Dew point five Celsius. Altimeter three zero two zero. Inches of mercury. Here, hold on to your stuff. Don't make a mess, okay? Don't put your hand in front of that, okay? I'm saying hi to the viewers. The viewers? Yeah. Alright, any traffic coming that way, bud? Uh, On the taxiway? No nope. No All right. Clear right, that's what you say. Clear right, clear, clear left. Right. Clear left. Clear now we're taxiing, now we're going down. Clear everywhere. Clear everywhere. Alright, man, so this is a fun day, isn't it, man? Yeah. Uh, what else happened recently, man? You don't know. I didn't go somewhere yesterday morning to do something. What did I do? We went to two parks. <laughs> You're hilarious. Before the parks, I took my FAA instrument rating written exam. Remember that? Is it? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. You took your test. Took my test. Yep. And I got a 98 percent, which is an A plus. I got one question wrong out of 60. What? What if you got a hundred A plus plus? Ah, uh, yeah, I wanted a hundred so bad, dude. I wanted it so bad. But still, you got a high number. I got ninety-eight. I'm very happy with ninety-eight. Because you got a still a high number. Yeah, so I'm stoked. So I got that out of the way. Um, I studied my butt off. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's not much of a secret. I couldn't really make a whole video on how I got ninety-eight percent on my written exam. The key was I took my sporties ground school. 
I studied outside of that. Yeah. What? Can I tell the viewers? Guess what? So, uh, he, if you want to watch another video, uh, Dad made a video on the way to his test, and it was very, very funny. So you guys should follow his channel and watch it. That's on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. But, okay, we're almost at the end of the taxi. We've got romp to do. I'll tell you guys what I did uh, as far as my studying and how I, I confidently got a 98. I knew I was going to get a high score, and I'll tell you guys how I got there. Um, and then also I'll give you guys some news on Hello. the airplane. All right, so here we're at at runway 6. Mixture comes full rich. There's 1,700 RPM. Okay. Manifold pressure and fuel pressure are holding. Suction's good. All my engine instruments are in the green. We are charging. We're keeping a close eye on that today. We're going to go two left. That's a healthy drop. Two right. We're good recovery. Close One left. Hang on. Healthy drop. One recovery. Here comes the prop now. We're going to watch the manifold pressure first. It moved. RPM next. It moved. Oil pressure next. It moved. Now we got nice warm oil on the prop. We're good to go. Back down to a thousand. Okay, flight controls. Free and correct. Stabilizer trim is good. I just checked it. Fuel sector handles in the left tank. That's what I want to burn off of. Uh, flaps one. Make sure we're bringing it in when we get out there. Prop is already set. Cow flaps are open. Power boost is closed. Electronic fuel pump. Uh, we'll bring that on along with the strobes when we get out there. Beacon, nav light, and landing. Landing light can come on. Seatbelts are on. Your seatbelt is on. Your door is shut for sure. Somerville traffic. Mooney 2711 Whiskey. Taking off runway 6. We'll be departing to the south off the downwind for runway 6. Somerville. Remember, it's going to be loud for just a minute until I get going, and then it'll quiet down, okay? Okay. Okay, there's full power. Pressures are good. RPM are good. Instruments are all in the green. There's rotation speed. Pump the brakes. Gear's coming up. Gear's up and locked. Wow, it's really nice out today. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Lots are coming up. Somerville traffic. Mooney 2711 Whiskey uh, turning right cross in runway 6, Somerville. Why? Why can you talk like that? What do you mean? Like, you can talk to other people and I can't. Um, because I'm a pilot, buddy. Am I? You're not a pilot. Not yet. You're a good co-pilot, for sure. You, gotta, you want to be a pilot, you got to get your pilot's license. Somerville traffic. Mooney 2711 Whiskey departing off the downwind for runway 6. Headed out to the southwest, actually. Last call, Somerville. That's all for approach. Good morning, Mooney 2711 Whiskey. VFR flight following request. Mooney 2711 Whiskey, Charles, on approach. Go ahead. Uh, we are uh, just outside of Somerville, just south of it, uh, climbing to 2,000 feet. We're um, headed to Hilton Head. I'd like to go there at 4,500 feet, and we're a Mooney M20P. Mooney 2711 Whiskey, you can call 4227 for flight follow. 4227, Mooney 2711 Whiskey. Number 11 Whiskey, radar contact, 5 miles south of Somerville, altimeter 3020. Maintain VFR out or below 3,500 feet. All right, 3020, VFR out of below, 3,500 for 2711 Whiskey. November 11 Whiskey, your, uh, the reason for that is traffic to the box, 6 miles south eastbound, 5,000 feet. Go right to that, 11 Whiskey. All right, so, yeah, 98% of my instrument um, written exam, the FAA written exam for that. Um, really, really happy with that score. Honestly, I say that, but I really wanted 100%. I, I really thought I could get that. I did all my ground school on Sporties. Um, I recommend that. Is It's good ground school. I actually went through it two times just to really learn the material. I took the two practice tests, all that stuff, got my endorsement. Sporties actually give you a logbook endorsement so you can go take the test. So that's what I did my ground school with, and I, you know, I studied outside of that too. Then the key is actually this thing called Shepherd Air. So Number one, one whiskey, yeah. traffic, no factor, altitude is now at your discretion. All right, altitude PD, one, one whiskey, thanks. All right, altitude hold's coming off. Bringing back the fuel in, bringing the fuel back in, we're pitching up. All right, so yeah, um, what I was saying before we have started that. 695 contact, uh, tower 126.0. 260. Uh, Shepard Air is the, the test prep software that I use to study for the test. Um, and it is literally the exact same questions that you have or that you get on the test. It's like kind of like a, almost like cheat codes. Um, and it's like 1,280, maybe 1,300 questions that they, they give you uh, because the uh, FA written test is 
60 questions out of like 1,300 possible questions. So you, you actually do all 1,300 questions. and It's a whole study strategy. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but it works. And you really, um, you really learn it. And it's, 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 it's awesome. It was well worth the, I think, $45 I spent on it. It was like nothing. Um, and I felt super confident to take in that test. Like I said, I really so confident that I was not really happy with anything below 100. So, um, yeah, I got that out of the way. Other news is that um, I posted this plane up for sale. The last video I was thinking about it, and um, in between I posted it. Well, I was actually on a, a work trip sitting in the hotel. I was like, let's just post it and see what happens. And I posted it. What's up? <laughs> and I posted it, and... Uh, it basically sold overnight. So the plane's under contract. Um, and, yeah, that's the end of that. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. The plane's under contract. Um, the pre-buy is scheduled for March 20th. Uh, you know, it's my airplane until it goes through pre-buy and all that stuff. Uh, but, yeah, if, as long as the pre-buy goes okay, it uh, one one whiskey is no longer mine. So I don't know why the pre-buy wouldn't, wouldn't go. Everything works fine. So... I expect uh, I expect it to pass. Number two seven one one whiskey yeah. contact. Be for approach one two three point seven. Order one two three point seven for one one whiskey. Yep. What what alley? Here, I'll help you. Hang on a second. Whoa! Can't open it either. What the heck? <laughs> Here you go. Be for approach. Good morning, Mooney two seven one one whiskey four thousand five hundred. What, buddy? You're welcome. You're welcome, sweetie. You can approach. Good morning, Mooney 2711 Whiskey, 4,500. November 2711 Whiskey, Buford Arrival, Altimeter 3018. Information, Lima, current VFR, landing runway 3 at Hilton Head. All right, uh, 3018, and we'll get the weather. One on Whiskey. All right, so this is all going to happen really quick. ATIS is 121.4. Hilton Head Tower is 118.97. Get the weather. Good morning, Hilton Airport. Aegis information. Lima, 1350 weather. Wind 040 at 10. Visibility 10 miles. Sky clear. Temperature 18, 2.12. The altimeter is 3018. You can expect the visual approach landing and departing runway 3. Advise on initial contact. You have Lima. And approach Mooney 2711 Whiskey has Lima. Roger. And BFRD is in your discretion. So we'll yeah, I'll uh, say again for 1-1 one, one Whiskey. 1-1 one, one Whiskey, VFR Descent, your discretion. All right, Descent PD, thanks, 1-1 one, one Whiskey. All right, we're almost there, buddy. How much per minute? Huh? How much per minute? Uh, 12. <laughs> Isn't it quick in the airplane? Guess how long Grandma and Grandpa drove yeah. from their house. One and a half hours. It's two and a half hours from our house. Almost three-hour drive, and it's a 20-minute flight. Can't beat it. Hi. Three zero one eight. Thank you. Let's go. Da 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 da. Dan. What? Hi. Oh. Let's go. Da 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 da. Yeah, you're cute, buddy. Uh huh. What a nice day of flying with you, buddy. Thanks for coming with me. You asked me. I had to. <laughs> you didn't want to come flying. Really? You don't want to go to the beach with your dad in an airplane. I did, but I, I wish we had a teleporter so I didn't have to throw up. Do you hear this, kid? He wishes we had a teleporter. No, because he doesn't want to fly an airplane to an island to go to a resort for a day. What's a resort? Like a hotel with a pool. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. I'm going right. to go in the pool. I'm going to go in the pool. I'm going to go in the pool. All right. Now are you excited? Yeah. All right. So chill out. All right, guys, we're coming up to the top of descent here. We'll get to about 500 feet a minute. That's when I like to start configuring for my descent. Hey, and all Dad. I'm going to do, all I'm going to do is push my power boost in and turn off the altitude control or altitude hold, and it should descend at a good rate. There's 490. Hey, Dad. Turn the power boost in. We're going to lose an inch of manifold pressure. Hang on, brother. Hang on. Uh. There's an inch of manifold pressure gone. Altitude hold comes off, and the nose should drop. There it goes. Hey, See our Dad. vertical speed coming down here. What? Did you bring my goggles? No. Why? Don't worry, dude. I'll go. I'll buy you a pair of goggles at the store. They're a couple of bucks, okay? Thanks. You're welcome. Actually, I'm going to go back to 20 inches just because I like 20 inches of manifold pressure. Makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Why did it make you feel good for no stinking reason? I just like 20. You really want to know why? Because yeah. then, as the as we descend, the manifold pressure goes up, and I don't have to worry about me overspeeding or overpowering over the engine. I don't have to worry about the temps as much. So 20 inches of manifold pressure, it gives me 150, 52 knots true in the descent. The wind, it's really bumpy. It's like wind waves. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's still bumpy. A little bit bumpy. I can see Hilton had already. Where? All right, let's, oh, it's out there. It's that island over there. Oh, there. I can see it. Yeah. I see a little sand. Yep, that's it. We're not zero even four, that zero far. At ten. So we should expect winds right down the one way. We're not far at all. No. I thought it was going to be we're, way we're, s we're eight minutes away. Can you help me? How many snacks are you going to have in this airplane? Oh, my God. You farted it. <laughs> airplane farts. <laughs> that's payback for when you farted in the cockpit that one time. Thank you, buddy. You did so good, man. Did you, did you did you ever fly an airplane before? Uh, no. What? How did you know how to do that then? Oh, uh, you taught me. Did you hear my toot? No, did you toot? Uh. Oh man, you don't. It's not supposed to fart in the cockpit. It's gonna stink in here. I toot two times. Oh no. <laughs> that was gonna smell double fart. <laughs> A double fart? You're supposed to say excuse me, buddy. Excuse me, excuse me. There you go. Guys, viewers, my dad farted! Yay! <laughs> you say to you to yourself. Don't tell anybody that. I don't want anyone knowing that. I told everybody you fart, Charlie, he farted. I said excuse me. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, well, excuse me. What a beautiful day to go flying with your daddy. Hey, be quiet, sterile cockpit. Number one, one whiskey, remain clear at the departure corridor, runway three at Hilton. Oh, I'd love to that. We'll uh, divert uh, a couple of degrees left here, one on whiskey. Where are all the seven seas? The seven seas? Yeah. You know what this ocean is? You should know it. You live right by it. What is it? South Carolina Sea. South Carolina Sea? Almost. Yeah. It's actually the Atlantic Ocean. Number one, one whiskey, on. traffic two o'clock in five miles northeast on top of known alpha indicates 500. Looking for traffic, negative contact for now, one, one whiskey. How little those trees are. What the heck? November 1, 1 Whiskey Pierce traffic, now 1 o'clock, 3 miles, same altitude indicated. Northeast bound, Squawk VFR contact open the tower and 118.97. Squawk VFR and over the tower and uh, looking for traffic, 1 on Whiskey. Stop, stop, I gotta talk oh, to the tower. No. Nope, nope, scale cockpit. What? It's okay, move it out of the way then. Hilton Head Tower, Mooney 2711 Whiskey, 10 miles north, descending through 2,500 feet, inbound to land. Mooney 2711 Whiskey, uh, Hilton Head, report midfield left downwind, runway 3. I'll report midfield left downwind, runway 3, Mooney 2711 Whiskey. Alright, come on, midfield left downwind. Cool, man. Let's have some fun today, what do you say? Fly an airplane to an island, dude. That... You don't even know. You don't even know. That's okay. I'm sad because... You're spitting cookies all over the place. I'm sad because uh, when, you, when you were a kid, you didn't get to fly an airplane until you were 18 or something. That's right, buddy. You remember a lot of stuff I tell you. You're really smart. And you're a good kid, so I don't mind spoiling you. You're a nice boy. You know what I mean? All right. There's our pattern power. We're going to get down. we got 500 feet to go. We're almost there, but we Where's slow down quick. Gas? What do you mean? Hey, hey, get your feet, everything over that way. So we're going to get ready to put down the gear, okay? Oh, where's your gas? This is my throttle. Don't oh. touch it. Don't touch it. Just sit back and enjoy the ride, okay, buddy? I'm looking for sharks. Okay, mixture's full rich. Three, one, one, whiskey, you're following a Coast Guard helicopter on a two-mile final runway uh, three. Roger that, looking for traffic, one, one, whiskey. And yeah, tower, didn't say it before, but two, seven, one, one, whiskey. We're now uh, extended downwind for three. Yes, sir. Uh, do you have the orange helicopter inside you? Affirmative, we do. One, one, whiskey. Uh, you're number two for the airport, and uh, give yourself a little room. Runway three, clear to land. All right, roger that. Clear to land, number two. We'll give ourselves some room. One, one, whiskey. All right, we're going to go way out here. <laughs> I'm not landing behind that helicopter. All right, winds are zero, 040, zero, so here we go, guys. we got some wake turbulence we're going to have to deal with here because Coast Guard helicopter doing a option touch and go on that runway, so I'm going way out here. 
All right, there goes that helicopter. Delta Tarko, sir, 6516, executing climb out instructions. Roger. One on whiskey, clear to land. Clear to land, one on whiskey. You're a really good pilot. Thanks, Holly, but you gotta be quiet, okay? All right, gas in the tank I want. Undercarriage is not down, but we'll bring it down. Gears down, locked, pulled, and indicating. Mixture and prop are set. First notch flaps, one, two. I will stand by. No talking. Hey, traffic center runway, Victor Alpha, King Structure Base Leg, and uh, Clear Land. I'm happy with that landing. Did you feel that landing? <laughs> it was really smooth. I'm really happy with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, Three, seven, one, whiskey, eight. taxi ramp, stay with me. To the ramp with you, one, one, whiskey. Okay, Alright guys, made it to Hilton Head. Just parked the plane. Ollie was awesome co-pilot as usual. So was Nemo. Yep. He, he's the most important one in our family too, even my other family, because I got him from Gigi, and I sometimes lose him, but I always keep him because he's my favorite animal of all. Yep. All right, guys. Like I said, a lot of stuff happening on the channel. Plane looks like it's going to be gone here in the next month. Past the instrument rating. My instrument training is next week, um, and then check right after that. So a lot of stuff coming. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to. All that jazz. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Also, double piece. Nice. Yeah.